Hi, Shoal family. How are you? I hope you're doing great. Do you like my little vintage bicycle that I strolled down to the lake on? Um, anyway, what I wanted to talk about was reality. I keep getting all of these things like comments on Facebook and messages and saying, you know, um, Raquel, you don't live in reality. Raquel, you're not reality based, blah, 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 whatever. But here's the fact of the matter, is that we create our own reality. And that is sometimes, I think, really difficult for people to accept. Because who wants to believe that before in our pre-mortal existence, when we lived with God, with Source, with Universe, um, who wants to believe that we chose to come to Earth? in a particular way or a particular environment. Like, oh, I'm going to choose to come to Earth and to take on this human body and I'm going to live in an extremely abusive childhood and see a lot of difficult ships and viscitudes and, you know, very, very difficult circumstances. A lot of people don't want to believe that that we actually had that opportunity to choose to come to earth and we did the fact of the matter is is that a lot of times i think when people play the victim and they don't want to accept things in their life this one thing of me saying that you do create your own reality because most of the time people are going to be like yeah i would create my own reality i would come to a home that i was going to be molested and raped by my you know family member or I was going to be abused or I was going to be this or whatever the wor worst most traumatic horrific circumstances were that some of you have dealt with um, we don't want to believe that we don't want to believe that we actually chose this life we did we chose it because when you're in pre-mortal existence it's not the same you don't have the same subconscious that you do in mortality once you're on the earth and you have a physical body um, you you choose because there's not a scarcity or a fear-based mentality in your consciousness when you're in pre-mortal existence so that's the reason you don't see things the way that we have been conditioned as humans to see things so the truth of the matter is whether you want to accept it or not then that's fine I mean you don't have to accept anything but the fact of the matter is we did accept this reality excuse me we did accept this reality before we came to earth i mean where did you think we came from there was just this explosion and we all came you know as consciousness no there is a there is a particular framework of how the universe the earth everything was made where it comes from and I think I'm going to start sharing some more of those kind of um, philosophies on my channel as well. Because I think if we can get down to the basics of the fundamentals and the foundational work of why we're here, what we're doing, what this is all about, what is this earth life, what are we trying to accomplish, what is the meaning of life, basically. Um, I think that it will help us to maneuver ourselves into a direction that will be more based on understanding and then we can therefore understand ourselves and move in a forward position instead of being like we're wading the waters of like the tides taking us under every second. You like how I always throw the water thing in there? Of course I have to. I'm a mermaid. Um, anyway, yeah, I know I'm goofy, but that's okay too. So, um... All right, well, I hope that that served you. I'm not sure if it did. Some of you might, I might get more hate mail. Um, but you know what? I'm going to love you through the hate no matter what because that's what I do. But anyway, I hope that you have a great day and I love you so much and thanks for watching. And as always, I'm yours until my next swim. Ciao!